All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, presenting the challenger, Brock Lesnar! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by the predator, Francis Ngannou.
Francis Ngannou. I'm not sure how many more of those power shots realistically his opponent can take. No, you can't take many. Archer, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the corner's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. And he landed the right hand there. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. My triangle, my triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Getting tighter. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain. Just go for the finish. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Right hand punch the clinch. If you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's the best thing. Gonna put that money away with every single body shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, you gotta be working after your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, you gotta watch him attacking submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel, right? That's where the bonus. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh, and that is it. Choked him to sleep with the arm shot. The moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He got him! Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Bruce Buffer has the Ladies official decision. Referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke.
So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ. 